A warm welcome, the fans have plenty of reasons to be excited tonight here in North London. I'm Derek Ray at the microphone and joining me for match commentary is Stuart Robson. And tonight we've got the semi-final of the Champions League coming up for you. It is Tottenham Hotspur facing Manchester City. Well, this is what the Champions League is all about. Some of the world's best players, two excellent teams and a great stadium. Let's hope we're not disappointed. It's a 4-3-3 with two out-and-out -out wingers, but they do vary their movement. They give width, but they also make diagonal runs in field when the ball's on the opposite flank. Their performances will be key today. Introducing the starting players for Manchester City. Ederson gets the nod in goal. Bernardo Silva plays with Rodri in central midfield. And leading the line today is Erling Haaland. And the contest begins. Jeremy Doku. On to Holland. Well, that's how to dispossess your opponent. Good weight on that pass. And the keeper had plenty to think about with bodies around him. Sloppy there, Bernardo Silva. City move it forward with purpose. Could be dangerous. And just wide of the post. Yeah, decent effort, but not one that was going to trouble the goalkeeper, I don't think. Well, he senses a goal is coming here. It's just a case of being more clinical now. For power, 10 out of 10. For placement, maybe 8. <laughs> Teammates available. Keeper. Well, they should be ahead now. Yes, it was a good save, Derek, but he should score from there. Well, he can't believe his side haven't taken the lead there. That was a big chance. Over it comes. Given away by Tottenham. Walker. Dejan Kulusevski. And that was a very fine read. Vandiol. 
on to Holland. A textbook interception. Alvarez. Given away by City. And Spurs moving the ball forward. What can they do from here? A City free kick forthcoming. Rodri still passing it around with authority chance to put them in front marvellous anticipation just have to make sure they don't get caught on the counter attack well possibilities in the centre and a corner for Tottenham could be useful as they try to take the lead. Well, this is a big moment, and don't these fans know it? <laughs> He's driven in the corner. Outrageously good piece of defending on the line. And the keeper more than equal to it. Foden. Alvarez. Well, they have it again. Can he find the right pass? Well, he could run onto it here. Now, room to roam for Spurs on the wing. Bentancur. Well, a classic example of how to intercept. Well, the counter chance looks very real. Well, he dealt with that ball played in rather well. Well, the referee has instructed the fourth official to put two minutes on the board. Must take the lead here. Oh, and it goes! The opening goal in this semi-final. A long way from being decided, but it could be telling. Well, here's the replay, and just look how quickly they break forward once they win the ball back. And then what a strike. That's hit with such ferocity. Certainly no stopping that. That's a great goal. Well, there you have it. Pet's team are struggling here. He needs to change one or two things. <laughs> Half time then here in the English capital. So the second half underway, with Spurs looking to build upon a largely positive first-half performance. And on the back of that particular challenge, will the referee let the matter rest there? And that is going to mean a caution. The referee is absolutely right. He knew what he was doing there. That's a good-looking ball. 
chance maybe to use their counter-attacking ability to good effect. Jeremy Doku. Bernardo Silva. A very timely interception. Son. Lo Celso. And he's made headway. Real defensive resilience. Denied once more. Making sure nothing came of it. Promising move from Tottenham. Oh, surely. And the keeper there to deal with it. Both managers deciding this is the time to change things around. Both teams going to the bench. Keen to take it short here. Defensive roadblock in the way of that cross. Corner kick played in. Could still be dangerous. That's a foul, and it will be a potentially dangerous free kick. And a change for Spurs at this juncture. Good effort here. Nothing wrong with the idea on the free kick, but the goalkeeper has it. Foden. It is a decent looking attack here. Holland able to close down the shot. And Spurs have the ball once more. Bisuma, really good build up, but no end product. Spurs pushing forward with options available. Fabier, and a good challenge to bring that attack to an end. 20 minutes to go in this one. Rodri. Well, they're behind, but they might be onto something here. And he takes it on. Well, not a million miles away from the equaliser. Well, he couldn't quite get it on target, but at least they're making chances now. Throw in here for Spurs. Bentancourt. And tidily play. Who can he pick out? Just ten minutes to go. Time is against Manchester City, but still they could hit back. But nothing comes of it. Just have to make sure they don't get caught on the counter-attack. Well, they couldn't quite use that break in the manner that they'd hoped. Alvarez. Foden. Good-looking cross. Not the best clearance. Really important piece of last-ditch defending. Well, these fans have been brilliant. Just listen to them. Surely this will inspire the players to hang on here. 
What a noise we've got. Will he shoot? The fans hope so. And a fine piece of goalkeeping, which keeps their hopes alive. Well, you're right, that keeps them in it. But can they find an equaliser? They need some urgency in their play. And short it is. Very quick thinking there. Full time then, the referee blows his whistle and the story is one of success for Spurs in this first leg anyway. They will carry a lead into the return match. Well, at this stage of the tournament, you'd take any lead going into that second leg. I tell you what though, this tie is far from over. Very little to split between the two sides and it's set up perfectly for round two.